Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Marketplace Affiliate System. Now this particular plugin will set up an affiliate system for the Marketplace vendors. Here what the users can do is they can become an affiliate and can request a vendor for showcasing his products on the links that they provided at the time of affiliate registration. Now apart from that the affiliate system is one of the most important features through which the Marketplace vendors will get an additional revenue for their products and at the same time the affiliate users will in turn get some commission from the vendor after the sales and the unique clicks for the vendor products there now in today's video tutorial i'll be showing you how the uh, affiliates would be able to register themselves here first and how the admin can then uh, approve them and much more of that uh, in this particular video tutorial of the uh, affiliate system but before we proceed further please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so right now first of all uh, for example uh, you want to become an affiliate user so in the footer you can find the marketplace affiliate option and tapping that up uh, would bring up the marketplace uh, affiliate program itself and from here uh, if you're an already uh, affiliate that you are and uh, you can log in from here as an affiliate Otherwise, if you want, you can create a new affiliate account by tapping here on the register button. So let's tap here on the register button and this would bring up the marketplace affiliate program registration page itself as you can see here, where you need to enter your details. So here, what you need to do is you need to enter your personal details and include your first name, last name, email, telephone and your fax. Your address details needs to be entered. Uh, payment info uh, needs to be updated. Your text ID needs to be entered. Uh, you can choose a payment method and according to that you can then enter the details for the same for paypal you have to enter the paypal details for bank transfer you have to enter the bank transfer details there then enter your uh, uh, username uh, or the uh, sorry your password and you need to confirm your password once again lastly you can select your terms and conditions for the affiliate uh, system you can check them up uh, if you want and then you can tap on the continue button to become a uh, affiliate within the uh, system itself now that was how you can uh, register yourself apart from that you can also see the login to marketplace affiliate account option is there and register to marketplace affiliate uh, option is also there so if you're anywhere on the home page of your of that particular website uh, then you can find these three options there and from here what you can do is you can tap here on the register and the register page would open and for login directly logging into your uh, affiliate account you need to tap here on the login to the marketplace affiliate account option and then you can uh, log into your affiliate account very easily now let me log into the affiliate account uh, there and let me show you what different options does the affiliate get under his own account panel so to log in i'll be logging into the affiliate account now by entering the affiliate uh, username and the password there and here's the affiliate account panel on the right hand side you can see here we have the logout affiliate here we have the uh, uh, edit marketplace affiliate account uh, change password summary commission rates so if i go to the edit marketplace affiliate account here uh, what the affiliate can do is he can make change uh, within the uh, my account information or the like the details like the uh, your personal details your address uh, the website where you are going to uh, post the ads you can update that up here within this particular section uh, and uh, you can save that up under the uh, edit marketplace affiliate account section under change password you will be able to change your password for your affiliate account under summary you will be able to view the particular summary of the number of clicks unique clicks total sales that have been made total commission that has been accrued the received balance uh, there and the total balance left out or with the seller there still uh, then you can check the commission rates uh, that have been applied by the particular seller so the seller has applied per unique click has been set as two dollars per sale it has been set as uh, a fixed one it's uh, ten dollars and the per sale percentage rate is uh, five percent there applied by the uh, uh, respective seller there so there are the commission rates under the uh, affiliate account then we have the banners and ads now this particular section comes after for example we have uh, registered yourself as an affiliate now what you need to do is you need to request to seller first so from your account you need to go to request your uh, request uh, send request to seller section and here from the drop down you need to choose the seller to which you want to send the request uh, for showcasing the products on your particular uh, uh, what we say as the url or the blog url link that you had uh, provided here uh, that you can see 
Uh, so uh, after you've saved it up, you can see it here and you can check the status for each like approved, pending, pending, pending. Uh, for the approved ones, uh, then when you come back to the banners and here you'll find the particular product panels and the text panels uh, that you can make use of. You can copy the HTML code and uh, you can paste it uh, on your particular uh, uh, blog URL site where you want to showcase the products there. You can also preview any ad by tapping on the preview button. You can see this ad would be visible like this. Now let me copy and paste this particular ad to one of the places and let me show you how this appears. So this is how the HTML code uh, that I've pasted would uh, bring up the particular ad and uh, this ad has been posted on store.webpool.com therefore the, you can see a product as well here that's the open Gun multimedia marketplace appreciate system and I've put this particular ad here with the same that's of the book that we were checking in the back end of the affiliate uh, account panel this one this particular one and this was the same book ad that we saw it there uh, so here are the product banners uh, that have been enabled by the seller and are available to this particular uh, uh, affiliate now and here we have the text banners and we can preview any of the text banner there here's the text banner this is how the text banner would uh, uh, look if uh, posted on the particular web so that ad would then be uh, the text ad would be displayed here uh, as required so these were the banners and ads now what happens is when a customer uh, taps on this uh, that would uh, be uh, included in the unique click there and then the customer is redirected to the respective uh, product page itself as you can see that we have been redirected to the product page now when a user purchases this and this order is completed at that time the affiliate user gets the commission there uh, within his own account panel so that was about the banners and the ads then we have the email campaigns and uh, from here uh, the uh, or the affiliate would be able to send the email campaigns to multiple users as well so multiple email addresses can be added uh, separated by each separated by a comma there here you can enter the subject and the message uh, for the same and here you can put the urls or uh, of or uh, whatever you want to put there and you can tap here on the send button thereafter to send the particular email campaign then under the traffic you will be able to view the particular traffic details as you can see all clicks along with the IP address the referring URL click type it was on product the product name along with the date as well unique clicks how many unique clicks were made on uh, the click type words the product name and the date along with that under the traffic under the sales uh, you'll find the complete list of uh, sales that have been made so here's two orders that have been made product price commission that has been achieved with that the status of the particular orders as complete then under the transaction if any of the amount has been uh, transferred by the seller to the affiliate that would be reflected those transactions would be reflected here now under the statistics you'll be able to view a particular graph there as you can see total clicks upon the unique clicks so from here you can choose it as today week month year yearly as per your own requirement there then uh, here we have the request to seller i've already told you about uh, how you can request to sellers in the marketplace for uh, uh, showcasing their products on your particular url by selecting that sending a request to the particular uh, seller by tapping on the send button i've already sent the uh, uh, request to the seller so that's why it says uh, a request has already been sent to the seller there so that's how you can do under the request and under the payment methods you can change your payment method if you want you can update your tax id uh, you can uh, update your payment method as i've already told you at the time of registration as well according to the chosen uh, payment method you have to enter the details of the same along with that for paypal you'll have to enter the PayPal email id for check check pay name then you can tap on the continue button to save the details there uh, after that we have the blog link under the blog link you will find uh, the blog link that you had uh, given where you are going to showcase the products there you can update that up as well by changing that up and tapping on the continue button thereafter uh, after the blog link you have the logout uh, affiliate option from where the affiliates can log out so these are the account panel options of the affiliates that the affiliates get after they have registered uh, within the affiliate system itself so these are the account panel options that i just showed you now let's log into the seller and let's see how the sellers uh, get the, the different options to manage the affiliates there under their own account panel. 
so for that uh, let's uh, log out of uh, the uh, FD8 uh, account there and I'll be logging into the seller account there so I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll be logging into the seller account now now here on the right hand side you can see that the sellers get uh, one account panel option here for the affiliates uh, wherein they can see the affiliate request that the affiliates have made so if I go to the affiliate requests these are the same requests that you make uh, under the request uh, uh, F, uh, request seller option that we had just uh, a few minutes ago so from there uh, itself the request come here and from here the uh, seller would be able to approve or disapprove a particular request and uh, that was about the affiliate request then we have the affiliate configuration so under here uh, the uh, vendor would be able to set up the pay per click pay per sale and payout settings can be set uh, the uh, pay per click can be set the amount of the value can be set for that uh, under the pay per sale you can set the commission in fixed rate and you can set the commission in the percentage as well under the payout set, uh, settings you can set the minimum balance when the payout should be made uh, it also needs to be set up that's the assigned payment day of the month so whichever day you have set here for the assigned payment day of the month on that day you have to make the payment to the affiliates there so that was about the affiliate configuration then we have mail to affiliate so from here uh, the uh, the seller would be able to send the affiliates uh, uh, what we say as uh, the mail so he can select an affiliate from the drop down there enter the subject enter the message and tap on the send mail button thereafter now uh, uh, how the uh, the sellers would be able to create the text banners or uh, that those text banners that are visible to the affiliates under their uh, section there so for that uh, we have to go to the create text banner section here we can create the text banners by entering the title the text uh, we can link a product uh, to that particular uh, text banner that we are going to create we can choose the uh, uh, size as we have been provided a uh, very uh, different number of funds here we can choose a fluid one and we can then tap here on the save to save that particular text banner and that would then be displayed here under this particular list from where you can view your particular text banner as you can see and these uh, text banners can then be used on your particular URL website where you're going to uh, set up the ads and whenever a customer taps on this he'll be redirected to the particular product uh, for which that you have the product link there so uh, that was about the section that's the uh, create text banners and we have the affiliate summary wherein uh, the sellers would be able to see the summary of the affiliates like the affiliate name uh, the clicks that they are generated unique clicks total sales that have uh, been done by them the total commission uh, the paid amount the balance amount and the payment so from here they can make a payment uh, on the enable day because it was 10th uh, set as the the day when the payment to the affiliate should be made so that's why it's uh, right now uh, unblocked uh, or what we can say that's it it's blocked right now otherwise it would be uh, enabled uh, right now you can see that it's disabled out here so it would be have been enabled then we could make a payout to the respective seller then we have the affiliate payment here we'll find the complete list of transactions uh, or the transactions that have been made out to the affiliates within the marketplace itself and here we have the affiliate name paid by transaction id the transaction id ip and transaction id the amount that has been transacted the transaction date and time as well so these were the account options that uh, the marketplace uh, uh, vendors get under their own account panel how they can go to the affiliate request to uh, to approve the request of the affiliates there how they can uh, set up the affiliate uh, configuration there uh, by uh, under the FD configuration you will be able to set up your pay per click pay per sale and payout settings there and uh, how you can send the mail to the affiliates create text banners very easily affiliate summary can be checked and affiliate payments can be checked what we have been made out there so yes that was much about uh, the plugin itself that's the open cart uh, affiliate uh, system and i hope it helped you out in understanding a brief overview of how this particular plugin basically works and what different configuration options are there available to each other uh, there so if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.qvdesk.com 
apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead